Take my fancy and I'll buy you a great chain of gold. Jason Buckwalter and pianist Andrew Stewart from Baltimore's Lyric Opera House entertain at this week's Retired Officers Wives Club meeting. The St. Patrick's Day theme was Tis the Wearing of the Green. Hello and welcome to March. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition of Mead Week, the 2016 motorcycle safety courses are set. A look at upcoming transition assistance events. A local Girl Scout receives its highest award. These stories and more. But first, March is Women's History Month. And on March 15th, the U.S. Army Cyber Command and 2nd Army present a presentation by Cyber Command historian Dr. Lawrence Kaplan. He'll be talking about Dr. Mary Walker, Medal of Honor recipient and women's rights advocate. Once again, the presentation takes place Tuesday, March 15th at the McGill Training Center. Elsewhere, the Garrison Equal Employment Opportunity Office and U.S. Army Cyber Command are co-hosting the Garrison Observance on March 18th. Performance artist Kate Campbellson Stevenson is making a return trip to Fort Meade. Here she is from a recent Women's Equality Day observance. By treating sodium nitrate with potassium chloride, of course. Oh, yes, of course. Will it be done then? I'm afraid we have a more urgent matter, John. More urgent matter? Indeed. There's one thing every woman's missed in Massachusetts Bay. <laughs> Don't smirk at me, you egotist. Once again, the Garrison Women's History Month observance is coming up March 18th at 11.30 in the McGill Training Center. In other news, the Installation Safety Office has released this year's motorcycle safety course schedule. Riders must complete a safety course to ride on a government or military installation. The courses are the Motorcycle Safety Foundation Basic Rider Course, Experienced Rider Course, and the Military Sport Bike Riders Course. The basic course takes two days and is being held once in March and twice in April and May. The schedule continues through the summer, one basic class scheduled each month from June through October. The Experienced Riders course is one day and will be offered monthly from March through October. The Military Sport Bike Riders course is also one day with classes scheduled monthly through October. You can sign up by going to the website on the video at imc.army.mil. Meanwhile, the Fort Meade Soldier for Life Transition Assistance Program, formerly known as ACAP, serves all Fort Meade service members ready to separate or retire. Here's just a quick look at upcoming TAP events. March 7th through the 11th, the Transition Assistance Office is holding a program workshop. You can get a complete overview of the TAP program. On March 15th, learn 10 steps to find a federal job. Looking to start your own business? There's a seminar for you on the 18th. They'll be holding another program workshop the week of March 21st. And finally, there's a two-day career technical training event at McGill Training Center. For more information on any of these programs, you can contact the Soldier for Life Transition Assistance Program at 301-677-9871. In other news, the Gold Star Award represents the highest achievement in Girl Scouting. It recognizes senior Girl Scouts that have undertaken community service projects that have made a big impact. High school sophomore Alana Matthews, the daughter of the 704th Military Intelligence Brigade's Lieutenant Colonel Joseph Matthews and wife Sarah, has lived through seven deployments in her young life. So when she tackled the Gold Star Project, she wanted to provide a written guide for other teenagers with similar experience. She presented her project this week at the monthly meeting of the Military Officers Association of America. This is just an example of what military teens go through living through a deployment. We have so many emotions to deal with on top of just being a teenager. Several years ago, the DOD did a survey on children of deployed soldiers and stress. The goal was to pinpoint the ages which feel the most stress while a parent is deployed. Can you guess which ages feel the most stress? Teenagers, <laughs> specifically 15 to 18 year olds. The analysis discovered that this age group had increased stress due to the major changes going on in their lives. Think about what we go through first dates, first proms, learning to drive, looking for colleges, deciding on a major, just the stepping off into adulthood. Even with that survey, there is nothing out there for teens. Oh, there are guides for parents of teens, but nothing for teen, teenagers that is written in a format that a teen will read. Matthews intended this guide to be a gift to all other teenagers with deployed parents. She hopes to have the book e-published in the near future. And that's Mead Week for this week. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, I'm Brian Spann. Have a great Mead Week.